couple months ago, we caught up with Gary Johnson before the big gaming event, the Gigatech Expo, and it was a great success from what I hear. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. Why don't you give us an overview of that for people who didn't watch our interview? And then we'll talk about one of the things that kind of surprised you. Well, yeah, wonderful event. You know, we've been doing the gaming thing for a while. This is our sixth year of uh, GigaZone Gaming Championship. It's gone really well. You know, our fact, our last event we had 4,000 people at. So we've, it's really resonated, the gaming piece. And so this year we thought it'd be really wonderful to expose all of those gamers to potential career paths in our area, because there certainly are those. You know, whether they recognize that or not, uh, they exist. So we added to the gaming event and rented the entire 4,000 seat arena and the convention center. I mean, a massive event. Enlisted area businesses who are actively recruiting for technical talent. And also we had six or seven different educational institutions, universities and such from across the region who came to show off their technology training program. So what you have is gamers who think they're coming to a gaming event, yeah. which they were, I mean, that was fabulous. Now also, oh, by the way, getting exposed to um, potential career paths. And we're really proud of that. And not just for our own recruiting, but to benefit our region, employers in our region who struggle to get talent. Yet in our backyard are all these gamers who, these are technicians, these are yeah. technical folks that, you know, whether they know Maybe it or not, they have great skills and, you know, they're building servers and running software. And and so uh, it was it was great. Uh, for a first event, I'm very pleased with how it went. Well, I understand your uh, good friend Steve was there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, wow. Yeah, my good friend. I've had two now opportunities to chat with him, first time virtually. And then we, we managed to have uh, yeah, Mr. Wozniak in Bemidji, Minnesota, kind of a fanboy. So yeah. I, I, had to, I had to temper that enthusiasm. Got to interview him on stage. I got to be his driver. So I'm buzzing around with him. That was a little surreal. I'm like looking at my, you know, I have Steve Wozniak in my car. This is, you know, as a longtime Apple enthusiast since I was 17. Um, yeah, that was something as well. He, he did great. He, he just set that right tone about innovation and the potential of technology. And he's always been one that wanted to share his belief in the impact of technology. You know, he, he was not the money guy. He was not about fame. He was not about fortune. He ended up having both of those. Uh, but he was definitely about the guy who wanted to share his technology. Um, and things, you know, whether it's the first computer he built, here's the plans, you know, everybody just have them, you know, um, and that, that still resonates with him yeah. even now, how he's just, you, you start to ask about education and youth and what it means for technology and he just lights up and goes. You are an interview, I am not, uh, but I had to be with Mr. Wozniak, but it wasn't difficult because you just throw him a softball and whoop, off he goes, you yeah. know, and he, he would take it from there and it, it was so much fun, yeah. I can only imagine. One of the things that kind of surprised you, though, was the community that actually came out. It reflected your community in much more than some other events you've done, you said. Yeah, I'm very proud of that. And we've seen that over the years with our gaming event, how the audience there is of all backgrounds, all ages, young, old, all races, really, and all economic standings, right? It really represents the area we serve better than any event I typically go to in the community or events we've held um, that we've talked about in the past. This really, for some reason, resonates with that broad audience in a way that really reflects who we are. And I'm very proud of that because you think about that, um, here's a group that uh, now is gonna get exposed to the technology and all the other things we added with the Texpo. Um, just love creating that opportunity, especially when it's for everyone that is in our area, not a certain segment, right? Playing into the theme of this conference, you know, the whole digital equity aspect of the smart rural community, it seems like what you did there is a great example of how to bring that out. I think so, in a way that resonates, right? Yeah. It's not just a program, you're trying to yeah. get them to sign up for something. I mean, it was something they're passionate about and people. interested in and wanted to come anyway. Yeah. Um, yes, so that's right. I think that. We really struck a nerve there, and it really is about inclusion and equity. Yes, we're showing off our broadband network, so it's about infrastructure. Here's a great gigabit and multiple gigabit, whatever. Um, but it quickly got beyond that to workforce development and access and opportunity and all of these things that layer on top of what is infrastructure, which is exactly the conversation going on right now. It's about, okay, beyond infrastructure, how is it really going to get used? What's the impact? How are we going to change lives? It's great to have infrastructure, but it's got to be used and adopted and really woven into what you do. And this is a, a great example of one way to do that. Well, and you heard Dave Handel came with you, the economic development. 
Yes, 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 Dave. Um, we work very closely with Greater Bemidji, our local economic development agency, um, on programs like 218 Relocate, where we attract telecommuters uh, by partnering on both the, all the great assets our community has, but layered on top of it, infrastructure that we can offer. And that's gone really well. So yeah, that partnership with economic development is important for companies like ours, because um, out of that partnership, you know, great things can happen. Well, that's great, and it's been great uh, as catching up with you, Gary. And uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, congratulations on all the stuff happening at uh, Paul Bunyan. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.